an eruption from the sun it was sort of like a solar tsunami traveled out to where Voyager is today, some 18 billion kilometers away. It's been almost 50 years since Voyager 1 left Earth. It's now the farthest thing we've ever sent into space. But lately, something's changed. NASA says the spacecraft is still working. It's still pointing at us. But the signals it's sending back, they don't make any sense. It's like Voyager doesn't know where it is. Or maybe it's not in the place we think. And here's the strange part. This doesn't look like a normal malfunction. The data is structured, repeating, almost like a message. But from who or what? In this episode, we're diving into what Voyager is actually sending, why it's so confusing, and what scientists are doing to figure it out. 14 billion miles from home. Could something be out there trying to reach us through our own machine? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to go deeper, we've linked the full research summary in the description. Let's get into it. Signals from the void. In May 2022, engineers monitoring Voyager 1 noticed something odd. The spacecraft was still sending signals, but one of its core systems, responsible for telling NASA where it was and how it was oriented, was sending back total nonsense. This system, called the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, is critical. It keeps Voyager's antenna pointed at Earth. Without it, we'd lose contact. But here's the twist. The system itself wasn't broken. Voyager was doing what it was supposed to. It just wasn't reporting it correctly. After digging into the problem, NASA realized the data was being routed through the wrong computer. In August 2022, they switched it over to a backup and things went back to normal, at least for a while. In November 2023, Voyager's flight data subsystem began to fail. Instead of readable data, it sent strings of meaningless ones and zeros. Engineers suspected a worn-out memory chip, likely damaged by radiation or just old age. It was like trying to read a hard drive full of scrambled code. By April 2024, NASA pulled off something remarkable. They reprogrammed Voyager remotely to avoid the faulty chip writing new instructions for a spacecraft launched in the 1970s from over 14 billion miles away. Data started flowing again, slowly but clearly. The signals had never stopped, but now we could finally understand them again. Still, that period of garbled transmissions raised deep questions. What if Voyager starts showing patterns we can't explain? What if this isn't the last time? The Cosmic Bell. In August 2012, Voyager 1 crossed a boundary no human-made object ever had before. It passed through the heliopause, the invisible bubble where the sun's influence ends, and entered true interstellar space. That's when Voyager started hearing something strange. Its plasma wave system, a kind of deep space microphone, picked up eerie sounds, low bell-like tones echoing through the darkness. These weren't just noise. They were plasma waves, ripples in the charged particles that float between stars, triggered by solar storms hitting the interstellar medium. Between 2012 and 2014, these sounds came in bursts, almost like the spacecraft was being struck by invisible waves. Then, in 2017, Voyager began picking up persistent tones, narrowband plasma waves that revealed something unexpected. The density of space around us wasn't constant, it was shifting. The cosmic bell Voyager rang gave us our first direct audio of the space beyond the solar system. It wasn't silence, it was alive with movement, pressure, and invisible storms. These tones helped scientists map the density and behavior of space far beyond what telescopes could reach. It wasn't just about hearing something eerie. It was about understanding a part of the universe we've never touched. Even now, as Voyager drifts farther, the waves keep coming, small, steady chimes from the dark. Are they just the echoes of space itself? Or is there something else out there stirring the silence? Aged but alive. Voyager 1 launched in 1977. At the time, no one expected it to survive more than five years. But here we are, nearly five decades later, and it's still flying. That's impressive, but it also comes with problems. In late 2023, engineers noticed something strange. The spacecraft was sending back strings of raw binary, just ones and zeros, instead of structured data. It was like getting pages from a book, 
but all the letters had fallen off. The issue came from Voyager's Flight Data Subsystem, or FDS, the system responsible for organizing and sending health updates and science data. Turns out, a single memory chip in the FDS had likely worn out after almost 50 years of exposure to space radiation. And since there's no way to physically repair Voyager, NASA had to get creative. The team formed a special task force, nicknamed a Tiger Team, to figure out a software fix. By April 2024, they did it. They reprogrammed Voyager to skip over the corrupted memory and reroute the data. It worked. The probe started talking again. This moment reminded everyone just how fragile Voyager really is. It's held together by old code, fading power, and a lot of ingenuity. Every fix buys us more time, but we're running out of room for error. Still, it's a miracle that this ancient machine is alive at all, and still showing us what lies beyond our world. Crossing Cosmic Thresholds Voyager's path through space hasn't been a straight shot. It's been a journey through invisible borders. In December 2004, the spacecraft crossed the termination shock, the point where the solar wind suddenly slows down as it hits the interstellar medium. That region is called the Helios Heath, a kind of cosmic buffer zone. It's a strange place. Between 2004 and 2010, scientists noticed the solar wind all but vanished and high energy particles surged in. Voyager had entered what some called a cosmic purgatory. The space around it became more unpredictable. Then in 2012, it hit something new, a region called the Magnetic Highway, where the sun's magnetic field started blending with the galaxies. Finally, on August 25, 2012, it crossed the true boundary, the heliopause. That's the official edge of the solar system. Beyond it lies interstellar space, quiet, cold, and full of unknowns. What Voyager found out there changed everything. It revealed that space isn't empty. It's dense, active, and alive, with energy we're only beginning to understand. Here's what Earth sounds like. Before Voyager turned its cameras off in 1990, it took one final picture, the famous pale blue dot. Earth, seen from nearly four billion miles away, looked like a tiny pixel in a sunbeam. After that, the spacecraft went dark, at least visually. Its mission changed. From then on, Voyager wasn't taking photos. It was listening. It started capturing cosmic rays, solar wind changes, and most hauntingly, the natural sounds of space, low frequency plasma waves that vibrate like deep tones through the void. This data became humanity's first real recordings from interstellar space, not from telescopes, not from theories, from a machine that had been there. These signals revealed that the area beyond our solar system isn't silent. It's full of motion, density changes, and electrical storms sweeping across space. And through it all, Voyager keeps sending us updates, telling us what it hears, what it feels, and maybe someday, what else is out there. Telemetry twists. In space exploration, small errors can feel like whispers from something larger. And with Voyager 1, those whispers keep coming. Back in May 2022, engineers were puzzled. The spacecraft's attitude control system, critical for keeping its antenna aimed at Earth, was sending bad data again. But just like before, the system itself seemed fine. The problem wasn't what it was doing, it was how it was reporting it. After digging in, NASA figured out it was sending the data through the wrong path inside its ancient computers. Again, a switch to a different route fixed it. But then came November 2023. Suddenly, Voyager began sending long strings of random binary, complete gibberish. The probe was clearly still alive, still following commands, but its memory system was failing. The flight data subsystem, the part responsible for packaging its information, had likely lost one key chip. That one chip was all it took to turn clean data into chaos. It took engineers until April 2024 to write a clever workaround. They taught Voyager to send data without using the broken part. It worked. Health data started coming in again. But each fix feels like a race against time. These aren't just software bugs. They're signs of aging systems, 14 billion miles from the nearest help. And yet, Voyager continues to respond. 
It's still aligned, still listening, still talking. But how many more twists can this old machine handle? Interstellar Insights Despite all the technical trouble, Voyager 1 is still teaching us things we've never known before. Since entering interstellar space, it's shown scientists that space out there isn't just cold and empty. It's full of structure, layers of density, motion, and energy. In 2020, both Voyager 1 and 2 detected a surprise. The space around them was getting denser. That discovery changed how we understand the outer edge of our solar system. The interstellar medium isn't smooth, it's dynamic. Voyager's plasma wave instruments also started hearing narrowband waves, consistent vibrations in space that reveal the density of electrons around the craft. These readings help scientists measure the thickness of space at different points, almost like sonar mapping a dark ocean. Even the cosmic ray detectors are still active, picking up galactic radiation and showing that our sun no longer shields the spacecraft like it used to. Voyager is fully exposed now, sailing in the raw, untamed currents of deep space. It's like we've opened a window into a part of the galaxy no one's ever touched, and Voyager is still the only one sending postcards back. The final frontier, for now. Voyager's journey won't last forever. Its power is running low. Each year, NASA has to make tough decisions, turning off instruments one by one to save energy. In time, even the heaters will shut down, leaving systems to freeze in the cold of interstellar space. The thrusters are weakening too. Hydrazine, the fuel used to adjust its direction, is slowly clogging. Eventually, the spacecraft might not be able to keep its antenna aimed at Earth. When that happens, contact will end. But here's the thing. Voyager was only meant to last five years. It's lasted nearly 50. Even now, many of its backup systems still work. The attitude control system, the data workaround, the communications, all still holding together. And it keeps sending us clues about what space is like, about how far we can reach, about how long something can survive, all alone in the dark. The mission will end. But the questions it raised might echo for much longer. What if Voyager that wasn't just a probe? What if it became our first listener? So what is Voyager really trying to tell us? Is it just old hardware breaking down? Or are we hearing the first quiet notes of something reaching back? Maybe we'll never know for sure. But one thing is clear. Voyager didn't just survive space. It became part of it. If you found this story as fascinating as we did, let us know in the comments. What do you think those strange signals mean? And if you want more deep space stories like this, subscribe, hit the bell, and join us as we explore the questions that science hasn't answered yet. Voyager may be drifting into silence, but maybe it's not the last voice we'll hear from out there.